One of the guys that I enjoyed meeting so much with his with his intensity, but his integrity, the interest, his brain, is Kurt Angle. Let me ask you this: Are you concerned about his health? Because I, I know he does have some serious issues with his neck. Uh, I'm uh, always I'm concerned about all of our guys, Michael, from the standpoint of what they do and the travel, and and this is a hard job. You know, I I really get disillusioned with some people who say, well, wrestling's fake and nobody gets hurt and these guys aren't athletes. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Uh, Kurt, right now, uh, looks to be uh, the surgery, this experimental surgery, was more orthopedic in nature than the uh, fusion in his uh, vertebrae. is apparently working very well, and we may have accidentally ventured into something that will help these guys going forward. A great deal. Yeah, what was the thought, thought process before WrestleMania? Because I know that Vince didn't want him to wrestle at WrestleMania. So give, give me an idea what was going on. It was a tough decision by everybody, and it, it has to come back to the talent saying, uh, you know, are you able to do it? Uh, do you want to do it? Well, we knew he wanted to do it, but we weren't sure he was able to do it. We sent it to Dr. Lloyd Youngblood, who worked on Edge and Stone Cold and Chris Benoit, a lot of guys. And his, his theory was, it's not going to get any worse. Uh, he's not jeopardizing his his limbs, uh, he, he's, he's going to be in some discomfort, but he's not, it's not going to get any worse. If we had been told that the least miscalculation would have uh, offered paralysis for this kid, there's no way that he'd wrestle WrestleMania no matter how badly he would have wanted to. So we checked that out with the best neurological surgeon in America says he's not going to get any worse. Let's move it to Steve Austin, who, who really is done as, as a wrestler the way we know it. He's a guy who, who, you know, wrestling has been his life. He's a guy with a certain personality. How's he handling it? I know you're very close with Steve Austin. Well, I am, and we just collaborated on, uh, I, I, I co-wrote co his autobiography with him. That'll be out in November uh, by Simon & Schuster. I sound like Larry King now. Uh, <laughs> as long I, as I don't sound like Larry King, I'm good with it. You're close, though, today. Uh, Stone Cold is adjusting well. Uh, you know, he was in a, last year when he walked away from his job, and last year in June, June 8th, he uh, uh, was frustrated by his injuries. Uh, the verdict from the doctors was not good. He needed two more levels of fusion. Uh, he knew that it was a matter of time. Mother Nature tapped him on the shoulder and said, your time is up. Uh, he was in a bad marriage. Uh, he wasn't handling any of those issues well. It uh, cumulatively caught up with him. And he's not, and he internalizes things. I, I, I I get him all the time about express yourself, and he's so expressive on television. But sometimes about his own personal personal issues, he's he holds it all in, and they got too much for him. But he's adjusting well, and I think he's going to be uh, he's a huge addition to Raw again. He's a talented performer, and and I'm not going to be so surprised if he doesn't have one more match. I'd like to see him have one more match, a real one. Yeah, to be able to a, a retirement match so he could go out uh, with the with his just rewards. I gotta ask you about Trish Stratus because somehow she found a way to do what I don't think any woman has ever done in the history of, of your sport and that is have credibility. People don't yell the same things that, that, that when she walks out they yell at Tori Wilson. Are, how, how, how has she carved that out? How have you carved that out? Her work ethic has led the way. You know, we've, we've uh, taken what she's provided us and embellished it a little bit and promoted it. But uh, I don't know of any female that came in as a non-wrestler that's worked harder than her. I don't know that we've had any males that have actually worked any harder to get better at their craft than her. Any temptation to go to the other girls and say, learn to wrestle like Trish? Well, I think it's all, always good when I hire young women. Uh, I, it's always good hiring young women, Jack. Uh, I, I enjoy the interview process, and the uh, I certainly uh, make sure that uh, they know that we acknowledge Trish's work ethic, and that we think it's a good idea that if you follow her footsteps, you're going to be uh, well served. Something smells really good in here, and it's your cooking. Speaking of serving it up, we'll talk about the cookbook when OTR returns right now. This is something we got from uh, one of our viewers. Hey, Jim, could I survive on a strict diet of pile driver pork chops and Smackdown? S'mores? <laughs> be honest. It wouldn't make me fat, would it? I wouldn't suggest that to anybody, unless you're married to a cardiologist. <laughs> More OTR in a moment. Well, in, in wrestling, it these days seems to be all about writing the book. It's all about the biography, about the background. But for you, it's all about the recipes, JR. Tell me about this. Well, Michael, we wrote uh, a cookbook a couple of three years ago that was a New York Times bestseller. This one uh, this came out in June. And uh, it's this one is more uh, 
autobiographical in the sense that the recipes came from my grandmother and my mother's kitchen uh, and the uh, stories are tales of the road from my experiences on the road top ten lists so it's a it's a real this is a real fun project to work on and of course to go along with this you have created some sauces right tell me about that yeah the, uh, my mom used to make the best barbecue sauce and when are you disrespecting my mom's barbecue sauce no sir well then everybody's you know mom's mom cooking is good fair enough uh, but I, my mom had died. Uh, I was doing a pay per view in England, and when I got the word that my mom had died of a heart attack, and uh, we found we went, went back to do her funeral arrangements. We found a bunch of recipes. The recipes are the basic foundation of this cookbook. And uh, I wanted to find her barbecue sauce recipe. Couldn't find it, so my wife replicated it uh, as best she could, and she hit it. Your wife is neither one of these women on the cover of the magazine. No, my uh, wife. Book, is, right? My wife is actually pictured in the book, though. No, that's Trish and uh, Stacy on the cover. Beautiful uh, items. How much do you miss football? Because you did a lot of football. I know you love football. Like, Big Oklahoma Sooners fan. I love football. I uh, Probably the only other job that I would ever entertain adding to my plate, not replacing what I do, is the radio voice of the Oklahoma Sooners. So probably, and but that's not really a secret. I love football. And when I'm home and I buy all the packages, I'm, I'm watching. You're involved, obviously, in the hiring uh, process for announcers for WWE. And your guys, they all have a certain look. I get the feeling they could host a show like Extra or Entertainment Tonight. If you showed up on the WWE's doorstep right now, would you hire you? Uh, I don't know. If I, Kevin Dunn and, and Vince do basically that uh, interview process. You haven't dodged anything yet. Don't dodge that. No, I don't, I'm not. Would, would you hire JR? Well, if I you. got to know him, I would. I wouldn't hire him for his look. But, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover. And uh, I would be hard-pressed to pass up on uh, the old Oklahoma boy's passion and his love of the game. Because you're, you're a throwback to the old days. And you know what? I asked you some questions that I know hit a, a, a difficult spot for the WWE. But I also said off the top of the show that I'm a big fan of yours because I think as an announcer, what you do on a, on a nightly basis really is extraordinary. And it has been a total pleasure having you back on Off the Record. Thanks, Michael. I look forward to coming back again. Pick up the cookbook. Pick up the sauces. Thanks for joining us, Jeff. Okay, buddy. Thanks. Off the Record with Michael Landsberg is brought to you by The Keg Steakhouse and Bar. For great steaks, good friends, see you tonight. Michael Landsberg's wardrobe supplied by Grafton and Company. Get it at Grafton. I'm a hard time on a groom here.